Hi guys, welcome back to Sherry Approved. I'm Sherry. Welcome if it's your first time and if you've been here for a while, thank you so much for joining me again today. Now, I usually share with you guys a lot of the products that I love, things that I have discovered that I am completely enjoying and that I highly recommend. So I don't usually talk about these types of things, but today I want to share with you some items that were kind of disappointing. And perhaps if you were thinking about buying them, you just might want to reconsider or save your dollars and spend it on something else. The first items are actually perfumes and I'm saying perfumes because I actually purchased more than one of these and I don't know how many of you may have heard about this but there is a brand called Dossier Perfumes. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that properly or correctly but it's actually really popular on YouTube. A lot of influencers, a lot of people are using it and buying it because it seems as they are one of those brands that are producing perfumes that are alternatives to some of the big fragrances that we have come to know and love and for those of you who are really into perfume you know that a good perfume could sometimes run you some good money from Sephora or different places and so it could add up the cost could definitely add up and it could be very pricey especially if there's a particular perfume that you love and you want to repurchase and so on I mean who wouldn't like to find a good deal on perfume right so I decided because I saw so many people talking about this to take the plunge and jump in and order some so i purchased some scents that i'm familiar with and one that i am actually not familiar with just to have an idea of what to expect and this particular item i'm not going to say that it is completely disappointing but i mentioned it in this video because i know that it's getting really popular and i wanted to give you guys my thoughts just in case that you're considering it so that you're not going to be disappointed and you know what to expect now first of all dossier promotes the fact that they are going to give you the exact fragrances of these particular perfumes with the notes and so on but that they are manufacturing very high quality perfumes but they are removing the very high markups that retailers will put on when they're going to sell the perfume for you so that sounds very enticing because you're thinking that i'm fine i could just get it in a different bottle as long as i'm getting my favorite fragrance right well let's find out so i actually purchased three one of them I actually have out of the box, but I kept these because I wanted to show you the packaging. They come really, really nicely packaged in this box. And in fact, when you open it, you not only get your full size perfume, which is what it looks like, and you also get a mini sprayer. If you live in the US, you can actually test the mini sprayer. And if you don't like the perfume, you can actually return it. There is a charge for that. But the point is that you don't necessarily have to keep the perfume if you don't like it, which is a really good idea for a lot of people. Now, these bottles are absolutely gorgeous. They have a magnetic type of cap which i absolutely love it feels very heavy it feels well made but of course it's very simple just a plain label on the front that has the name of the particular scent and then of course they give you the notes now this particular one called oriental oak moss is actually supposed to be the dupe for my absolute favorite perfume of all time which is coco mademoiselle by chanel love that have been through so many bottles i always get the most compliments it just works wonderfully on my own body and i love that perfume so of course you know if i'm going to pick up a dupe i have to pick up the dupe of that so i also picked up this one called fruity honey which is supposed to be the dupe for one of joe malone's perfume the nectarine blossom and honey i believe i don't actually have that perfume but i do have a couple of other joe malone perfumes and i have an idea of what they smell like and I actually do like joe malone perfumes they just don't last on me as long as some other brands but i do love the fragrances i find them to be very unique and finally the third one that i picked up is floriental vanilla which is supposed to be the dupe or inspired by ysl's black opium which is another very very popular perfume i'm going to tell you right now that why i love the packaging i found it to be really good quality i love the way it came presented i love how they explain the notes to you so that you could choose your perfumes i love the fact that they actually tell you what it's inspired by so you have an idea for what this is going to smell like i'm just going to say don't expect exact dupes like exact exact dupes well based on what i have here they will come really close but they are not the exact fragrance the first one that i decided to try out was obviously oriental oak moss because it's supposed to be the one that's inspired by coco mademoiselle by chanel and this was actually the most disappointing one for me and it's why i'm actually talking about this today it is because i can get the scent very very faintly of Coco Mademoiselle, but the alcohol whiff in here is extremely strong and it makes me feel like this perfume is extremely cheap. And that is what I did not like about this particular one. That it was just 
too strong so i was not impressed and i'm going to be truthful i was disappointed because it was the one that i was most looking forward to because it meant that i could spray something that smells kind of like coco mademoiselle every day at home or whenever i just wanted to spray that scent without using my lovely expensive butter <laughs> That didn't work out, but I mean, I'm getting through it. I am actually getting through it because I am actually using this every day. The thing about it as well is that it only lasts on me like about an hour. And every single time I put this on, I will go like five minutes after and I will ask my husband, what do you think about my perfume today? Are you smelling this? And he'll be like, what perfume? So it means that, I mean, I am probably smelling it, which is kind of strange, but he isn't really smelling it. I have to like let him go really closely to the point on my arm or my wrist or whatever that I sprayed it for him to really get the scent, which was also not a good indication for me. The other two, however, I will say they were better. So this one, especially the YSL one, the Floriental Vanilla, which was like YSL's Black Opium, the alcohol smell on this was not as strong as the other one. And this one actually smells really good. Like this one, you get that nice depth that you kind of expect. Again, it's not exact, but the scent is very similar and you do get more depth than this other one. And then, like I mentioned, for the Jo Malone one, I don't actually have the perfume, but this does have that type of Jo Malone scent. I could get that. And again, the alcohol scent on this one was not as strong, but I do smell it in here. The best out of the three was this one. And still, I was not that impressed. I have worn all of these and none of them last longer than an hour on me. They range from 29 to 39 US dollars per bottle. And I mean, somebody might say that's actually a good price. It would be a great price if it was really like a dupe, but hmm. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know if you've tried Dossier perfumes in the comments below. I'd love to hear your experience because perfume and fragrance is something that's very personal. It interacts with people differently. People smell things differently. They interpret fragrances differently. So I'd love to hear your comments. The next two items are items that I got in BoxyCharm. And I needed to mention this because I know that a lot of people actually try to resell items sometimes that they get in Boxy. Or for a lot of us, sometimes if we miss something in one of our BoxyCharm subscriptions, but it looked enticing to us, we might see it as an add-on and we may try to buy it but if you see these two it's not worth the money at all so the first thing is this now i got it in this kit it's the cypress 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 i don't know how to pronounce it cypress illuminating eye serum and primer now it came with a palette in here as well i'll leave that out for now but this is what it actually looks like it's this white type of i don't know thick goopy stuff <laughs> um that's in this little dropper bottle and the concept is that you could actually use this on your eyes as an eye serum under your eyes on your eyelids around your eyes and so on but it also doubles as an eyeshadow primer and i thought that to be very very innovative so your girl got excited and she was about to use this when she had to do her makeup to go on camera for a particular event so, so i actually put this on in my eyelids and i started to spread it out and i realized wow this is going on clear nicely it reminds me of some other primers that go on clear because they're actually going to prevent probably oil from coming through and so on but this is supposed to be an illuminating eye serum and i want you to look at that this is where i put it it is completely matte it was completely matte so i was like wait a minute isn't this supposed to be illuminating so there was zero illumination and i said you know what okay i could live with that because the way it dried down i felt like wow okay this is going to make sure that my lids stay matte no oils are going to come through and so on so here's what happened i put the primer on and then i reached over for my brush to apply my eyeshadow and then of course by the time i'm ready to apply my shadow i realized that where the natural creases are in my lids that the primer was actually cracking and i said to myself no worries no worries that sometimes happen when you use concealer and so on i'll just take my brush and buff it back i could not buff it at all the thing was stuck there when i tell you it held on and i could not blend that thing back so i decided okay i'm going to take a little bit more to apply it then as soon as i apply it i'll go and try to get the shadow on it i put it on and i still could not blend it what was underneath there was not moving at all i was like oh my god i said you know what sherry you could still try to make this work you could still try to make this work so i decided that i will just put a little bit of concealer over those areas although i'm still seeing the cracks and so on and i will try to do my eyeshadow well i don't have to tell you guys that was a complete disaster and this particular eye serum and primer in one is a whooping 120 us dollars no no now, I am hoping that we got the real thing in BoxyCharm and that people out there are not spending $120 for that madness. 
personally i would say just go with your regular concealer go with your regular milani eyeshadow primer your urban decay whatever you like if you like using a particular eyeshadow primer or even this the aoa soft base that i got recently a dollar <laughs> and works way better in fact that's the eyeshadow primer that i use to do my makeup today the next item that i got from boxycharm is this just look at this gorgeous brush look at that no yeah i already used it it's dirty right now just look at it this is the eloise beauty rose gold teardrop brush and this is around 45 us dollars so i mean you get out and boxy jam that sounds like a really good deal when you first feel it it feels nice and dense and you think oh nice because they recommend this for you to use it with your foundations you could use it with powders and so on so a girl again about to do her makeup and stuff decided to use this this made my foundation look so horrible it was difficult to work with everything was smearing all over the place in a very weird way i couldn't get anything to like set or spread properly it was not spreading evenly so then i decided that i was just going to try pattern motions and that was just even worse peoples if you have a regular buffing brush you could get something from real techniques or use a favorite beauty sponge it's going to be way better this is definitely not worth spending a dime on the next two items are actually from two skincare brands that i actually enjoy but these are two products that i did not <laughs> like and the first one is this this is by a cure and this is their brightening vitamin c jelly mask now i got so excited when i saw the release of this and their blue tansy jelly mask because it was when i really started to get into jelly masks and i still love jelly masks and i was so happy that they brought out something like this so i literally jumped on and i purchased both this little baby is only 30 mls i believe yeah 30 mls and it costs 20 us dollars so this particular jelly mask says that it has vitamin c frulic acid it has banana flower extract and so on and you're supposed to put it on like a jelly mask you leave it on for 10 minutes then you rinse and you're good to go now first of all i love the concept that this jelly mask was just going to be 10 minutes because a lot of jelly masks you need to leave them on a little bit longer because of the way they work so i was really happy to hear that i could probably use this in shorter time and then of course who doesn't love a nice vitamin c mask because you're going to get some brightening action so a girl goes to apply this on my skin and then i'm like is this a jelly mask a gel mask what is it it actually went on like a serum it's very very watery so the texture totally was not like a gel or a jelly mask to me at least in my opinion i don't know if the one that i got was bad or something i mean this just launched so they should not have been on shelves for a very long time the texture was not what i was expecting but it went on fine so i didn't have issues there the thing about it is that i use this mask a couple times and every single time i was like um did I just put on a mask? <laughs> you all know I have a huge mask collection. I love masking. And I found that there was like no difference to my skin in using this. My skin didn't look like I had some kind of treatment. Yeah, it was hydrating. But that was it. And I could get that hydration from many other masks plus some so this totally was not worth it to me i was sorely disappointed plus it is actually pretty pricey for the size of this jar i mean i'm going to get through it i will finish it but the thing about it is because i have not really been enjoying it i'm hardly reaching for it so i have to make an effort to finish this item i highly recommend if you do want a lovely vitamin c jelly mask definitely check out the jumiso brightening mask i absolutely love that and you are definitely going to see results and the last item that I'm going to share in this video that disappointed me was by Cosrx. And you all know that I love Cosrx. I've done a dedicated video on some of my favorite Cosrx toners and they have beautiful products. I actually recently reviewed one of the products on my Instagram and Facebook that I fell in love with recently and so on. But this just goes to show you that sometimes there are hit or miss items in almost every brand. So this is the triple hyaluronic moisturizing cleanser and this has hyaluronic acid and provitamin B5 or panthenol. And if you've been watching my videos, you know that I love the combination of panthenol and hyaluronic acid because together they are a wonderful hydration duo panthenol actually enhances the impact and the effect of hyaluronic acid and they are really good together and you find them as a duo in a lot of different products so i was excited to try this because i'm always testing products and i've been looking to find more cleansers to recommend to my drier skin girls so that they could feel a nice cleanse and not have their skin feel stripped but feeling hydrated so i got this one and of course because it was cosrx i decided okay i'm going to try it it's a big tube it's 150 ml for 18 us dollars and i don't mind the price at all if it's good let me tell you what my problem is with this i do not recommend this to anybody that's dry absolutely not 
I did not find this cleanser on my skin to be hydrating at all. This is one of those cleansers that dispenses kind of like a cream and then when you massage it with water, it foams up nicely. And there are a lot of people that love those types of cleansers. There is a particular ingredient, however, in those types of cleansers that I think is actually my issue so what happens is that after you do a lovely massage like when i was rubbing this on my skin a massage and it felt like clouds i said yes this is going to be a winner and then i rinsed it and my skin felt like it had some kind of weird residue that made my my skin have that kind of squeaky feeling i did not feel hydrated at all i didn't feel stripped either i just didn't like the feeling i felt like i needed to go back in with another cleanser to get off that particular feeling like if something was left and I'm not referring to a nice hydrating feel because I do have other cleansers that have that hydration that I do enjoy even though I'm oily this just was not it for me it's probably a texture thing and this might be very personal but I don't like it uh yeah I, I, I no <laughs> this one is not for me however I will definitely recommend the TM snail and azaline cleanser because I love that one that one will clean your skin you will feel no type of residue but your skin is still left feeling hydrated and not stripped at all yeah but I'm still going to be searching because I do want to find some more options especially for my dry skin girls if you have some recommendations definitely leave it in comments below have there been any beauty products that you've tried recently that disappointed you I'd love to hear about it below a lot of these things are very personal but sharing our experiences can be helpful to one another see you guys in another video take care bye